is Faye here from Twilight Crafts and this is part two of um, some jelly plate printing backgrounds and I just wanted to show how I build up the layers of these jelly prints um, to then give um, some depth to your um, backgrounds. So I'm working on um, a scrapbook layout background that will have this Union Jack Jenny Wren cut file um, backed in these jelly plate prints. Um, and also the Street Party um, Jenny Wren cut file and, and I'm using both um, of these with the jelly plate backgrounds. So um, to start building up the background there's just a, a few things that I use. I've got my messy mat here because it is quite um, a messy thing. I'm going to start maybe with the red let's no let's let's try with with this this blue um piece so i haven't cut it out yet um but there's just a few things that i use so i use um, an old credit card to make lines and stitches that's been punched with a crocodile to make half circles that then creates the stitched uh, print i've got a whole host of bottle tops that I keep from my kitchen because they make fantastic stamped circles. So I've got those in a selection of sizes. I use a black Ranger archival ink and then I've got some inks and some oxides in blues and reds and I like to use um, the blending brushes um, just to help build up that depth of colour. So I'm doing tone on tone this time just purely because I'm using it for this um, Union Jack cut file. So I've got um, a, a range of stencils and this is this is a, a, a different example, but you can see the type of technique I'm going for. So this was a jelly plate, plate printed background um, and then you stencil on top in um, a couple of different colours. This is this is just um, three different colours here, the pinks, the purples and the greens. And then you pick out the elements with um, a white Posca pen and then some bottle tops. Um, I'm a huge fan of Kate Cranes. So um, this was stamped using her um, jelly plate, um, printing plates. Um, and so we're going to go in and start building up some layers here. So um, with a stencil then, let's just start building up. So this one is quite nice. This is just an alphabet stencil. And we're going to go in. This is with Mermaid Lagoon to build up some depth. So I rarely use just the jelly plate prints on their own. I usually build up. Um, some layers now you could go in in a slightly different color so let's make, make it pop a little bit what else have I got I've got a shaded jeans which is quite a dark color I've got a stormy sky um, really could do with something that's going to make it pop yes right let's so i've got a broken china which is a, a, a very dark color i'm going to use this bramble fox um stencil here let's see what we get with a, a darker darker blue now that's my mistake because i i shouldn't put oxides onto a distress ink pad that was me having to clean that off so i've got a different blending tool for my inks okay yeah that's giving that's it that's really you want something that's really going to show up even though it's tone on tone you never quite know what you're going to get um, and this is all going to be cut up anyway to back the Union Jack cut file. So just a little bit of stenciling here. Let's see what this big one comes out like. 
and you can even blend some oxides on the outside as long as you keep the the ink pads separate I do inks one side okay yeah that's nice so maybe a few little dots in the oxides in this dark piece yeah much more chalky the oh I've done it again I've mixed my that's one thing you're not supposed to do is mix your inks and oxides because they've got completely different properties so don't do what I do right so that's built up with some stencils tone on tone let's lift that up so you can see there now this is all going to be cut up so then I normally take um say um my large Posca pen and my smaller white Posca for some doodling and then a little bit of black paint so generally get a bit of scrap paper here because then I don't make a complete mess black tends to be very messy I've got also a little disposable palette that works well um, let's spread this out a little bit and you can sometimes loose this this acrylic paint is quite full bodied so I sometimes just spritz it with a bit of water because I only want very light lines and you can test it here so just adding a few different size circles And then I quite like getting the edge of a credit card. Um, I get my inspiration from Kate Crane. She is just amazing. We've done classes with Kate. Um, so check out her Etsy store, online classes, and some face to face ones too, which is just amazing. Okay, so we're starting to just build up horizontal and vertical lines in the black and then with the white I tend to where there's these little circles that are in the um, get my white flowing again does anybody find that it takes a little while to get their white going when they haven't used it for a while so then I just do some little scribbles here a um, few more here just pick out some details it's all just adding depth to the print so there's a little star here that I like so I'm going to pick out that detail there's some little circles here um, few more circles up here I quite like sometimes to do stitched lines basically it's white white doodles and then what I even love with I'm very I went learned this on a cake green class just scribbles just to break up the background very loose scribbles which when I first did it I was I was panicking because I don't normally do loose scribbles but there's some little hearts so I'm going to pick these out some squares and then with this big chunky Posca what I also love is you can just when you're feeling brave do a few splats oh not quite that much there's obviously a knack to this 
I'm going to lift that off with a bit of kitchen roll. Turn that into a design opportunity, but we don't want a big white splat in the middle. So I'm going to put a little black stamp into that. So there we go. That is just showing how you build up the layers very simply in using the jelly plate and then some inks and oxides and a little bit of black acrylic paint with some white Posca pens. So I hope you enjoyed part two. We will be doing a live scrap along using the uh, Jubilee Cut Files on Thursday night on Twilight Crop and Craft Facebook group at 8 p.m. UK time. We also stream live to this YouTube channel. So if you hit like and subscribe, you'll get those notifications when we go live. Thanks for joining me, everyone.